Greetings, my friends. It's Fairlight here with some new footage for you from Evolve. Today we get to take a look at the four new hunters, and this video is going to be centered on the new Trapper Crow, but we will have footage of the other three coming up shortly. 2K Games was kind enough to have us out to their headquarters to get some early hands-on action with these new hunters, and I'm excited to show you the kind of abilities and tactical options that they bring to the table. Having four new hunters added into the mix will hopefully shake up the current meta, and we'll see some different hunter lineups emerging as we find new ways that they can work together. And here, of course, we see all four of the new hunters getting ready to drop in together. Most of our matches uh, from the 2K Studios all involved using all four of the new hunters every chance we got. Obviously, we were really excited to get some hands-on action with them here, so we're going to see how they all work together as a team. Now, you can see that little monster-attracted birds icon right there before we even jump out of the dropship. So, right as soon as I land, I'm looking to send the pet bat ray scouting in that direction to see if we can get some early eyes on the monster. Now, you can see Gobi is the name of the pet bat ray. Gobi goes right down the center of the map there where I pointed, and you'll notice right up at the top center of the screen a big green outline right there in the center. And now, just heading to the left, that is the monster being spotted around the corner by the pet bat ray. So it gives you an option to basically use your instinct to figure out where the monster is and then let the bat verify for you that that is where the monster has gone. This is kind of similar to Griffin's sound spikes in the sense that it lets you monitor an area where you yourself are not uh, actually present. Unlike, say, Maggie and Daisy, who have to physically travel there, or Abe, who actually has to shoot the monster or shoot something that the monster is about to eat. Uh, with this particular trapper, I think your own instincts and ability to track the monster uh, really shine because it allows you to say, I think the monster is going to go over this way, and then check, you know, send the bat out to check and see if you're correct. So, unlike all of the other hunters, this one really allows a trapper who is an accurate. Um, especially if they're an experienced monster player and an accurate predictor of where the monster is going to go, you can simply cut the monster off with your bat ray and figure out where they are. Now we see here, I have kind of got myself into a tricky situation because I jumped in and engaged the monster a little too soon. My teammates are not close enough to assist, so I end up getting face rolled and stomped into the ground by the monster here. So that was an unfortunate mistake on my part, but you will see later on in the match, we definitely get a chance to make up for it. Now, this means the monster gets an early strike on me, but that's not an insurmountable disadvantage. Now, on to the Trapper's other two skills. He does have a pair of new weapons that he brings to the table, and both of these weapons can be charged up for greater effect. The weapon in my hands currently is the Kinetic Long Rifle. This weapon can be fired rapid fire by repeatedly left-clicking, or you can charge up a shot with it that will actually punch directly through the monster's armor and damage his health. So even a full armor monster, you can still chisel away at his health. It's especially uh, annoying for the monster and helpful for the hunters if the monster is down to a sliver of health and has managed to escape and go armor up. If you have a crow on your team, as soon as he comes back, one good charge shot is going to drop him. His other weapon is the stasis gun. The stasis gun can also be charged up. Uh, it can be fired in quick, rapid-fire succession for little bursts of stasis that slow the monster down or charged up and then you unleash a huge slow blast on the monster uh, that is incredibly similar to Abe's stasis grenades. Uh, the difference here being that you can hit pinpoint accurate shots at a distance if you can aim, uh, which I believe I miss several in this match, uh, but when you have your accuracy on point, you can slow down the monster for extended periods of time from across the map, making it a very effective tool for catching up with it. Here you see us taking down this tyrant to grab the health regen buff, and you can see the rapid fire function of the kinetic long rifle at work. Uh, it actually hurts. I, uh, when During my matches where I actually got to play as the Behemoth, being on the receiving end of this kinetic rifle is not fun at all. Uh, as far as damage output is concerned, I believe Crow is either the highest damaging trapper or he's up there tied with Abe. I know Griffin and Maggie can also put out damage if they land consistent headshots, but Abe and Crow seem to be able to put out pretty tremendous amounts of damage even just by shooting the monster anywhere on its body. Now here you see we get eyes on the monster once again as he's crossing through the caverns and I'm gonna break left here and try to cut him off. 
burn those jetpack boosts and then toss out the dome to catch him. Now immediately after throwing the dome with Crow, you typically are going to want to switch to your stasis gun and slow him down to restrict any odds of him actually getting outside the dome fast enough. Now this time around my team is much closer, so we have a better fight on our hands here. Now, obviously the monster does not want to fight because he has no armor here, so the behemoth is immediately going to try and take me out, as the trapper, if he can take me down, the dome also comes down. But in this fight you are also going to get to see uh, the new support character, Sunny, doing work with both her shield drone protecting me and her jetpack boost and keeping me in the air for so long. And here I am tap dancing on the back of the monster's head while he tries to figure out where I am. Uh, but another jetpack boost from Sunny allows me to pretty much cross the entire cavern in one boost. Anytime that she is boosting someone with her jetpack booster, they get extended flight distance, and you can cover some insane distances. On top of that, her shield drone is protecting me. Every time the monster hits me, the shield drone will automatically turn the shield and protect me from it. And because of the combination of the shield and the consistent healing from Slim, we're able to chisel down the monster in this engagement. I hope you guys enjoyed this preview of what you can look forward to playing as Crow as well as the other three new hunters and we'll have more footage coming up shortly for all three of these new classes and I hope you guys have fun with it. Happy hunting and see you next time.